Hey, what's going on? My name is Marcos Rocha and I'm a director of photography based out of the San Francisco Bay Area. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the PD Movie Live Air Force Smart. This is a LiDAR autofocus motor. It works by itself, as you see here. Essentially, this turns your manual focus lenses or your cinema lenses into autofocus. So if you're, let's say, on a small team, solo operator, and you need precision uh, autofocus with your cinema lenses, this is probably something you want to check out. The motor itself has an internal battery and it has been majorly improved from the Live Air 3 Smart, which I've reviewed here. So let's talk about the improvements. First of all is the LiDAR sensors. Now there's two sensors. One is a short range and the other one is a long, long range sensor. They work simultaneously. It's a hybrid system. It can detect uh, the subject and it'll switch between the two depending on how far they are from the sensor. Now. What I've seen is the, that it is much better at keeping track of the subject, especially outdoors. There's major improvements when you're filming outdoors and the subject's moving back and forth. It does a better job at tracking our subject. Secondly, the battery has gotten bigger because it's supplying more power, more torque to the motor, so it's much stronger. There's two batteries included in the package, so battery should not be an issue. Each battery lasts up to six hours, but you can also charge it via USB-C as you're using it. So. Again, it's not gonna be an issue with battery life. The torque on this, I think it can take on any lens now. It doesn't matter how stiff the ring is. It's actually supplying too much power for this lens right here. Uh, what I noticed is that I needed to add a lens support because otherwise the motor would kick out. It would supply so much power, it, it would like kick out and it would start grinding at teeth. So with the lens support, that's how you prevent that from happening. If you have that kind of issue, Make sure you get lens support, that there's no play in the lens, otherwise this thing might kick out. Uh, maybe perhaps that's one of the things that I wish we could configure is how much torque or power is being supplied to the motor, uh, which I don't think you can. Now this motor is priced at 300 US dollars, which is very affordable for what it can do. Uh, I know that for me, I do a lot of corporate and documentary where there's minimal crew and I don't have the luxury of hiring a dedicated AC. Uh, this will save me a lot of hassle. Sometimes I just need I just need to track a subject, let's say on a gimbal or maybe I'm doing handheld work. This will do a better job at keeping track of our subject, especially if they're in the middle frame and, and, and staying on them than what I could possibly do with manual focus pulling. So it, it does an incredible job. Also, if you're asking too much of it, make sure you get the control wheel, the small control wheel that I talked about. It's so easy to mount anywhere, it's quarter inch. And the only thing you need to do to, rever uh, to switch it to manual focus is you turn it on, it'll connect Bluetooth really fast and you start turning the wheel and now you have full manual control with the, the, with the little focus wheel. If you wanna go back, you just turn it to the minimum focus distance, hold it there and it'll revert back to the autofocus. Let's walk you through how to set this up because that's one of the things about the PD movie it's like Morse code. People, I've heard people say that, and it is like that because it only has one button, and you, you configure it, you set it up using the single button up top, and you press. And also, there's two lights, which I'll walk you through. So let's get into it. To begin, mount the lidar sensor so it's as close to the middle of the lens as possible. Preferably, it should sit on top of a lens. Make sure your mad box or ND filter doesn't block the lidar. Next, install the battery, and long press to turn on. There's only one button on the motor itself. Double click to cycle between the five color channels. Please note that the white channel looks more like a light cyan and the yellow channel is slightly less green than the green channel. Now choose a color you want to program. Hold the calibrate button for three seconds to set the in and out points. Next, press once and then press again for three seconds to enter the lens calibration mode. Set the lens to the minimum focus distance then you bring in the included focus chart into focus and then you press once on the motor, wait for the beeping sound and then move the focus chart back two meters. Set focus on the chart and then press the button once. Again, wait for the beeping sound and then you move the focus chart back five meters. You set the focus on the chart and then press the button once. The autofocus information is now saved for this lens. You can tag the lens with the provided stickers so you remember the color channel for this particular lens. Remember, you can program up to five lenses. One more thing, there's three focus speeds. To switch between fast, medium, and slow, you press the calibration button five times. There's no real way of knowing what speed is set to. You just have to compare by doing some tests. I prefer to keep my lens at a slow focus transition. 
Now let's look what comes in the box. This is the, what it comes with. Obviously the focus motor, and I also got the package with the control wheel. And let's look inside. You have now a dual battery charger with USB-C. This is just better way of charging. You could, this is for the slot for the motor, and this is on this side, it's for the control wheel. And it's USB-C. Uh, you got different mounting accessories different mounting accessories here's another one and a different one for mounting the control wheel somewhere else uh, two batteries like these uh, USB-C chargers uh, and three uh, you, you get three of these three for the control uh, you get a focus chart you also get um, these uh, little rods that it comes with uh, and this is uh, smaller one there and this is uh, the focus wheel if you if you have lenses perhaps they're manual or old steels lenses you can put this on and just different cables usb-c cables for powering the uh the motor and the control to conclude i say the autofocus is very reliable i am definitely going to use it in my work especially when i'm doing uh, uh tracking a subject and i need more precision I know it can do better than what I can do in a lot of scenarios. Uh, priced at under $300, I think it's incredible. And the only thing I wish was uh, that these lights were back here so I could see it from the operational side uh, instead of having to look forward like this to see what's happening. Also, I wish there was more indicator lights uh, because it seems like so some of these, I, I, I forget what they are. There's a cheat code in the back of the motor, but even then there's a learning curve to learning what everything means so once you learn it uh it's easier it's also uh, you know it's also nice that you get to program certain lenses uh which is very useful to quickly getting up and going uh, so overall again 300 dollars it's hard to complain if you want to check it out if you have more questions there'll be links down below you can drop comments as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one